I, I, I'm not going to lower my standards to the my, lower myself to the standards uh, that the honourable la lady invites me to. Well, that'll be a first for you, Suella Braverman, won't it? I remember this was on the day when a number of people had died in the Channel, and a day before our out-of-touch Prime Minister had spent an hour and a half politically point-scoring by demonising these very same vulnerable people in dinghies, and she sat beside him, proper getting all a giddy about it. Well, SNP MP Kirsten Oswald decided she'd had enough, and she was going to call her out on her weasel words. Kirsten Oswald... Madam Deputy Speaker, the Home Secretary herself has just described this journey as a lethally dangerous endeavour. So how desperate does she think that the people making that journey must have been to attempt it? I, I think that the, the weasel words that she's been using about dealing with a safe and legal route after dealing with the people smugglers are shameful. I think that the UK government's approach to this issue is dehumanising. It is wholly, wholly inadequate. And I would ask her again to think very carefully about why these people are making this journey and how safe and legal routes can be provided now. Here, here. I, I, I'm not going to lower my standards to the my, lower myself to the standards uh, that the honourable la lady invites me to by making this about political point scoring. This is, as I've said, a tragedy. It's a human tragedy that transcends politics. We are all united in our sympathy and our condolences, and we want to make sure it never happens again. That's the aim of this government, and it should be the aim of the honourable ladies. Making it about political point scoring. If it wasn't at a time of a tragedy, it would be laughable, wouldn't it? Especially when the day before, when it will have been her ultimate wet dream, hearing our dumb cough Prime Minister politically point scoring when it came to these desperate people. I bet she downloaded the whole hour and a half when she needs to get herself into the mood as well. You say we're, we're all united in our sympathy and politics transcends Leaky Sue. It's just a shame you didn't show the same unity the day before. No, when it came to showing compassion for these very same people that were being used as a political pawn, Cruella. Then she starts politically point scoring by telling Kirsten Oswald that she needs to get with the programme and stop showing compassion and empathy because you've got to remember, Kirsten, that's not the Tory way. <laughs> but anyway. What do you guys think? Let me know down below and have a fantastic weekend. Well, maybe see you on Max's live stream tonight and uh, have a... Take care, my friends.